What is up, everybody? This is Jeff El Jefe from Guru Elite, and I'm here to show you how to use our NFL Optimizer. It's the best in the business. We've got the best projections out there, and it's a tool powered by Fantasy Cruncher that gives you a lot of different options on how to build lineups. You can build up to 25 at a time, or you can just use this to build out an optimal that you can use in cash games, single entry GPPs, however you want to use that. Let's go through everything though. I'll cover as much as I can. The game filter right here, that is going to allow you to choose which slate. Make sure you have that selected. Uh, you can also select or unselect games that you maybe don't have an interest in. Say you don't want any Saints. You think the Saints are gonna be popular, you just click, unclick the Saints and it's gonna remove all the Saints from the player pool. So you won't end up with any Saints in your lineup. You can do stuff like that. The um, site selector here, Choose between DraftKings, FanDuel, Fantasy Draft, and Yahoo. Make sure you have the right site selected. The check marks here is a way to select and unselect players individually. If you don't like Brian Quick this week, just remove him. We've got the total number of lineups here set to 25. If you want to do multi-entry, you can go that high, any number between 1 and 25. 1, you just set for the optimal lineup, and it will create the most optimal lineup out there. Of course, right now we're just using our preseason uh, roster right here, preseason player pool, and we don't have any projections set. We're not going to start those till later on in the year. Maybe uh, it might not even be up until the regular season, but uh, this is just an example for you here. As you build multiple uh, different builds, I guess you could call them, you're going to have different tabs here. Crunch one from one build you did, crunch two with your optimal lineup. And you can have these all along next to each other and swap back and forth and see how they compare too. So that's cool also. These little thumbs up, thumbs down, those things, that just tells the computer how much you like that guy. We already know what the projection is, but maybe you like this guy a little more than projection says and you don't want to necessarily adjust the projection. So you can click thumbs up, thumbs down, and that'll adjust the exposure a little bit that way. If you disagree with our projection, you think, you know what, Julian Edelman isn't going to score six points, you're probably right in this preseason game. I think he's going to score 13 points. And you just put that, uh, input it that way, and, and you're good there. Exposure, if you don't want to lock a player, you can lock a player and have 100% of them, sure. But if you don't want to lock him and you want a decent amount of him, you say, hey, I want 50% Cody Kessler. Type that in and you're good. So a lot of different ways to play with exposure for sure. And it can get even more complicated when you go into these advanced options. The advanced options, go to general right here. You can decide how many unique players you want across your lineups. If you are building 25 lineups, do you want there to be at least three players different in all of them? Or do you, you can set it to one and it's just going to randomly swap out receivers or uh you know running backs whatever it's just going to go from the most optimal to the next most optimal and that's not necessarily a, a very good tournament approach so make sure you're differentiating your lineups a little bit with your unique players this is a great setting a, a setting that i absolutely am, am changing and taking advantage of team salary this just tells you how much you want left on the cap maybe you don't care how much is left over and it's a a two game slate, right? A prime time slate or something. And you just want to generate a bunch of lineups, not worrying about if your cap is 45,000 and the salary cap is 50,000 and you have 5,000 left over. Uh, you can play with those settings here. Flex position on DraftKings, of course. You can decide and maybe you don't want any tight ends in the flex. Maybe that's just not part of your strategy. Maybe you want only tight ends in the flex. Maybe you think, DraftKings over the last couple of years have been underpricing tight ends. I would agree with you. I would say, okay, tight end, using two tight end sets, that's a pretty good approach and pretty contrarian approach. So maybe you do that that way. Offensive players versus defense. Okay, so you're going to have a defense on all your teams here. Do you want any offensive players going against that defense? Do you want your quarterback against the defense that you have in the same lineup? Probably not. You're usually going to have that at zero. Sometimes it doesn't really matter if you're punting with the defense and you're just hoping for a pick six anyway. Then you can play around with that. Of course, the shorter the slate is, maybe the more you're willing to have exposure against your team defense. Exposure settings, you're able to change 
how much exposure you want across the board with this number right here. You can say, you know what, I want no more than 30% of any player across my lineups, and that'll change that for you. Um, the randomness setting is what it sounds like. 0% is going to create the most optimal lineups. As you increase that more and more and more, you're going to start to get uh, a lot more randomness, but it's not going to be as optimal. So you have to weigh exactly how optimal you want to be. In tournaments, we do want more randomness, of course, but um, you are sacrificing points, projected points, when you're doing that. This whole players per team section right here, you can change the max or minimum from exposure you want from any team. I don't play around with this that much, to be honest, for NFL. This is a great tool for MLB. If you haven't checked out our MLB tutorial, you can look at how I use that. But I'm more interested in position stacks and groups here for NFL. Position stacks, you're able to stack your quarterback or anything, if you a running back, whatever, but I use it for quarterbacks. And you can select how many receivers you want. If you want at least one receiver with your quarterback, you're able to select it that way. Uh, you click that stacking rule and go, okay, well, I also want a receiver from the other team, though. So you click the same thing, quarterback with at least one receiver of, and click the opposing team. And now you've got both of those rules. Maybe you say, you know what? I don't want just one receiver with my quarterback. With my quarterback, I want two receivers, but it can also be a tight end too. I don't care. You add the tight end there also. You select two players, and it'll make sure that you have at least two players of wide receiver or tight end. And I mean, this is a really cool tool, really useful for NFL and stacking and building multiple lineups. Groups is another cool way. Say you've got a group of sleepers that you definitely want exposure to. There are three value running backs and you want to make sure you have at least one of those value running backs in every single lineup, you type in those players' names, whatever they are, add them to the list here, and that's your group. If you decide, you know what, I know that someone from the Patriots is going off. I know it's going to be Gronk, Edelman, or Cooks. And you just type these players in, and you add them to your list, and you can create a group that way, making sure that Gronk, Edelman, or Cooks is in every single one of your lineups. You make sure two of them are in every single one in your lineup. So another really cool way to play with things. And once you get all of your settings right, you start calculating these lineups out and play around with the exposures that come out. You know, maybe you do like what the computer throws at you. Maybe you don't. That's when you start adjusting the settings a little bit more. But uh, you'll see, of course, with there not being many projections, it is um, – yeah, let's throwing out random names here. But in the in the regular season, we're going to have our projections dialed in just like we have for every sport. MLB has been killing it. NBA crushed it too with guys that we hardly even knew anything about. And uh, I have a feeling the NFL is going to be the same way. So be sure to sign up for our projections, our NFL optimizer, and go crush NFL this year.